On the threshold of a new year, I've no doubt that most folk have given at least a little thought as to what the future holds. There will be as many opinions for as many people you ask, from a doom and gloom, hopeless outlook to a positive reach for every opportunity, hopeful outlook. Let me assure you that whatever your outlook may be, you will not be alone. And why do I say that? Because God has promised that he would never leave nor forsake us. The Bible shows us that each time the people were to embark on a new journey or face an unknown future, they could be certain of one thing, that God would walk with them every step of the way. In Genesis 28.15, we read, Behold, I am with you, and will keep you wherever you go, and will bring you back to this land, for I will not leave you until I have done what I have spoken to you. In Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, he is the one who goes with you. He will not leave nor forsake you. And then in Joshua 1 verse 5, No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave nor forsake you. Jesus also gave the promise of being with us before he ascended to the Father. In the conclusion of his commission and the conclusion of the Gospel of Matthew, we read, Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, to the mountain which Jesus had appointed for them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So let me share with you where God walks with his people, so as to encourage you in the course of all your tomorrows. The Bible shows us that God walks with his people in the garden of their failure. We know the story of Adam and Eve and how they were tempted and they fell into the temptation. They succumbed to it. And how they were ashamed, how they covered their bodies, how they hid from God and all the things that cause us to do the same. And yet, in the midst of their shame, in the midst of their embarrassment, in the midst of all that they had done, God still came to them, looking for them, wanting to have a relationship with them. That's what God does for us. When we fail, when we let him down, when we let ourselves down, when we let others down, God walks with us in the garden of our shame and failure. We also read in the Bible where the Israelites were coming out of Egypt and yet they too were tested. They were asked, commanded by God to go into the land of Canaan and they were so desperately afraid that of the ten spies that went into the land of Canaan, eight came back saying that they would be conquered by giants. And so for 40 years, the people of Israel had to wander in the wilderness, working out their faith. Yet God did not abandon them. He was with them every day and every night in the pillar of cloud, the pillar of fire. 
eventually bringing them to the place where they would defeat the Canaanites and take the land that God had promised them. God does walk with his people in the wilderness of their testing. And no doubt next year there is going to be some great testing upon us. And yet we can take courage and have the faith that God will walk with us. In Psalm 23, we read that wonderful passage where the shepherd says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Death is going to come upon some of us, and we're going to experience the power and the specter of death over our lives in the course of next year. But even in that, David was able to declare, as we can as well, that God will be with us. And the disciples, when they were in the boat crossing over the Sea of Galilee, Jesus fell asleep in the stern, quite oblivious of the storm that was raging around them, to the extent that the disciples come and wake Jesus up, crying out to him, is he not afraid of them drowning? And of course Jesus stands up and he stills the waves and the wind and the sea becomes calm. In the sea of their extremity, the disciples found that God will walk with them. And when we feel that life is going to overrun us, where we feel that the situations will swamp us, we can take faith in the knowledge that God will be with us. And then, of course, the story of Peter at the trial of Jesus standing outside and three times different people come and accuse him of being a follower of Jesus. In utter fear, he betrays knowing Jesus at all. And we know the story that at that moment, the cock crowed and Peter realized his humanity, his weakness and his bravado that counted for nothing. It's at that moment that God was with Peter And brought him to a place where afterwards Peter was asked by Jesus if he loved him. And it was three times that Jesus asked him, to the point where Peter could only reply saying, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. And it's at that moment that Jesus restores Peter, restores him to a rightful place in a relationship with him. God walks with his people in the fire of their trials. And on the road to Emmaus, there's two disciples walking back to their home at Emmaus, just a few kilometers down the road. In their discouragement, they are mumbling and talking with each other. And Jesus draws alongside and reveals himself to them. And when they come to break bread together and have supper, that's when they recognize him that he was present with them. My friend, no matter what next year may bring, God will walk alongside you. Be it in the garden of your failure or in the wilderness of your testing. Yes, he will be there through the valley of uncertainty or even in the sea of your extremity. Most certainly, he will be there in the fire of your trial and also on the road of discouragement. And so no matter where our life's journey will take us, God will walk with his people. May God bless you, and may you have a very happy new year.